now we will use uh, asset library from asset library you can download character uh, package and we will use some uh, sprites from it so just uh, write character under the search text box and uh, category all click search you need to install this uh, cutout characters and uh, after first download then install after downloading and, ins and installing the uh, whole of this package in our situation we already installed it but you select whole package and install it uh, and if you want to save space uh, select uh, all uh, from alpaca uh, folder which uh, will be used um, in um, lecture uh, for uh, animation when you install it uh, this um, will be visible under your uh, resource folder with the folder name source if you don't see it if you don't see source folder try first save scene and after that try to go to um, project uh, quit project list we will uh, open uh, our uh, project for editing again and uh, you can um, after that see your source folder under the list if you didn't see it again you can uh, go to your uh, source folder uh, well uh, where this is installed and you will found found it so go to your learning 2d platformer if you name it like this uh, and found source folder and underneath select alpaca folder copy and paste it under the recess so in a root of your game folder as we do it and you will have your folder inside your project this is um, just explanation for um, uh, for your work uh, possibly you will don't have any problems but if you have it there is two solution for you to know when you work with uh, downloadable files from uh, asset library In this uh, part of our 2D platformer tutorial we will speak about uh, animation and uh, we will uh, add uh, one uh, child node for animation this is animation player a container for a planning of animation resource animation player will be child of our uh, sprite so when you adding a child select uh, sprite node and then add, add child with control plus a or from uh, drop down menu uh, requirements for uh, this tutorial is also uh, one image uh, which are downloaded from asset library if you don't do it uh, download uh, character from asset library in character package uh, you will find uh, 
uh, alpaca face sprite which will be used in this uh, tutorial part so under the sprite we will uh, change uh, texture simple drag and drop technique will be used to change check texture uh, this uh, texture is uh, for uh, animation and can be used with animation player also uh, have uh, four images and uh, we will use um, animation under the uh, inspector properties to setting which frame uh, will we use so to setting a frame you use horizontal or vertical frames setting as you see in this image uh, our um, uh, setting is one by one but uh, we have two by two images so we need to uh, set this two by two now we uh, set a frame two by two and um, initial is uh, frame zero as you see here if you change it to to frame one you will see that it, this is changing and frame two also frame three remember frame start from zero another important thing uh, for animation player using uh, will be uh, offset in properties of a specter window we will use uh, flip H so flip horizontal if it is on image is flipped in a horizontal axis and if it is off image is default so let's uh, continue with our tutorial now we will uh, start making uh, some um, animation animation uh, will be for a player to look uh, on uh, one or other side so click on animation under the animation tools and select new so we will uh, name it looking on the right side now we have a uh, one track of animation and if you select your sprite icon you can have possibility to add keyframe to your track we will add only one keyframe and this is keyframe flip H only click on uh, adding a keyframe create new track for property flip H and insert key create and now you will have uh, your animation for looking right we will make another animation uh, we will say uh, looking left and uh, also we will add one keyframe uh, this keyframe will be flip H so to look to other side and we will create so now we have two animation two animation and uh, we can try to make some uh, simple uh, GD code let's start with the coding in our uh, script if you have um, 
script created uh, uh, with the world node clear the script and uh, start a new one maybe you will need uh, previously write the GD script for uh, something else in your game project we will start with a, a function uh, process and in a function proce process um, we can um, add um, input uh, is action pressed is action just pressed we will use it for um, right and also for left we will use it after it and uh, there uh, we need to use uh, animation player so we will say animation player and we will try to play one of our animation we have animation to looking left and looking right so when you click right we will need animation to looking right to be played all of this can be done for left so this and here we will also say try to say so looking looking left looking left it's okay now we have uh, two codes for animation playing uh, we can uh, set animation to be played uh, when started uh, with uh, auto play on load function but uh, let's test this uh, first so if we click on the right side or on the left side we have change and this is good for now if you want to continue working with your animation you can uh, also set other properties uh, you can work with the frames so uh, let's uh, start with one animation we'll say that this animation will start uh, with uh, frame zero so click on the key node we will not use these curves just create new track for property frame and insert key uh, looking the left it's okay let's see what we have now so first frame is selected frame number one is selected now after the some amount of time we will change the frame for the frame for the frame one for the frame one so let's see again here is the frame 0 and here is the frame 1 but we can do it better let's say animation duration is 
two seconds. And after one and a half second, so somewhere here, just use your mouse, uh, left mouse button click to, 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 to change uh, these positions on the animation track. We will say that here is frame number one, here is frame zero. Here is frame zero, so frame zero and frame one as you see it. You can also use this uh, animation looping to see what's going on and autoplay of course. Let's see. So this is looking okay for now. This is for left. Now we will try to do the same for the right. Initial will be frame zero. So add the key. Change the time. And here we will put frame number one. Sorry for uh, noise destruction. Uh, add a frame uh, with a click. And this is uh, good. It's okay for now. Working with uh, animation player will be continued and uh, we will uh, introduce a kinematic uh, 2D node uh, for movement. Also some uh, GD script uh, will be added. So your requirements, uh, requirement for uh, this uh, lecture is um, alpaca face sprite, uh, sprite icon with animation player and uh, you can do this uh, in your uh, world scene, uh, just delete any script uh, pardon clear any script don't delete it and we will add the script uh, later so let's start with add um, kinematic body kinematic body 2d remember you need to use 2d node kinematic body 2d for uh, for this this kinematic body will be parent of uh, icon and animation player so drag drop to make uh, hierarchy hierarchy good uh, then we will add another child node which will be collision uh, collision shape 2d so remember always use node 2d collision shape 2d for 2d project uh, must be under the um, kinematic body as a child and uh, when you select when you select collision shape 2d in inspector pick the rectangular shape so new rectangular shape and then we will find this shape in our screen without snapping so if you're snapping in turn on turn it off without snapping we will add the shape and move it 
or zoom it with the wheel to make some rectangular around your uh, sprite make a rectangle a little bit wider than uh, sprite this after that we can add a script to kinematic body 2d so now we will add a script simply with a touch script uh, this script uh, will be new script if you previously don't use kinematic body 2d you can leave it as it or you can change it to some other name uh, we have previously Uh, written script so you can uh, write it now if you want or uh, follow tutorial parts after it and we will uh, try to start this uh, script to see is it working? so it's working we are using uh, keyboard keys animation as you see we have animation and the movement we need to get to that in this lesson so what is important to know we will use input is action pressed animation player and move and slide command so what is new uh, move and slide of course uh, but uh, you need to know that you must use kinematic body so use kinematic body then when you attach new script you must have extents of kinematic body so all properties and methods will be inherent and you can use move and slide after that with vector to velocity variable we also use one integer variable as a speed and velocity normalized uh, to to make velocity velocity normalize will be explained later to solve some problems with when two keys uh, are pressed together uh, and uh, for a movement we change velocity dot x plus one when we move right you know this concept and uh, velocity is uh, minus one when we move left animation is added from animation player uh, we have previously design animation looking right and looking left and this uh, animations will be used uh, in this video also so uh, now I will give you some example in this situation we need to move right so to move right remember we need to use is action pressed which content constantly send impulse so don't use is action just pressed use is action pressed as you see in example when you when we start it and click right key 
we have information move right so uh, when we press key move right is constantly printing which means we have constant impulse sending is action just pressed work like this so we are pressing the right key once twice second blah 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 and we we only get one um, impulse from a pressed key if we hold the key so you understand it is action pressed we will use it after that velocity will be changed so velocity dot x of course will be increased by one for movement and remember you need to have this velocity velocity normalized uh, multiplied by speed for this to work we are moving right now it's okay and uh, we will also add the uh, animation use dollar sign then select animation player dot method is play so use play and after quote select looking right the same is uh, with the uh, moving left in function process we must have calling of a function get input so to call this uh, input from our keys and then you use move and slide command with vector 2d velocity variable which means we have movement and animation together in animation player we previously uh, make one track for flipping H if you want to uh, give animation to your uh, character you can use frames so for example in a animation of looking um, right you have one keyframe one keyframe here there's the frame zero and in another key you have frame one so it is simple just uh, select uh, just select uh, frame so frame 0 to looking right we will add it and after some amount of time we will change frame to 1 so change to 1 and you need to add keyframe we have two here so. uh, this is a frames if you uh, change something and you don't like it for example we have this one and this one if you don't like anything you can delete it so here is our frame. Let's see how this look like. It's okay. Auto play uh, can be enabled. Uh, if you don't enable it animation will be work because you use play to start it 
but you need to have a loop mm, activated because uh, this animation will be played only once if you don't uh, click on loop so let's see our whole animation how it's look like this is in a place moving right moving left okay now we can only set uh, default animation in our case we can set look right as a default in animation player let's see now when the character is idle we don't have animation when we move animation is activated so you can add GD script uh, for you to to animation start or you can click on animation player and uh, click on this uh, auto play on load button let's see now so we have auto play on load we set starting animation and we have animation of m on movement this is all for now thank you for uh, watching and for your attention with uh, character which can be used to move in uh, 2d space left or right we can implement something like gravity for our uh, character as you see character is under the influence of gravity and for this we need to uh, influence our second part of ve vector which is epsilon axis and when we use move and collide our vector we will have two values x value and epsilon value epsilon value in our case uh, will be plus one which means uh, that um, epsilon value is increased and you will see this as gravity we will use move and collide command this command will uh, give us um, collision with uh, object who have shape collision shape our kinematic body have collision shape and uh, we will make uh, some other object static object with uh, collision and after that we will use tail map with uh, collision so again let's see our goal will be to have uh, ground with collision our character with animation which can be moved left or right to do this we will uh, use move and slide as uh, we talked about this before so move and slide we will again uh, use uh, velocity and uh, with this uh, we can 
we can make uh, Mm hmm so let's see let's see what's going on identifier move and slide so when we use this code we copy and paste it which means our and the spacing are changed ho oh, oh, ho oh. command now command is right move and slide let's see where we are so we have gravity we have movement and only thing what we need is animation and uh, in a previous example you know how to implement uh, animation this will be used uh, with uh, with animation command and for now for now this is okay so you will need to to set a uh, right variable for kinematic body and then you can with a get node you can go to this but our indents are not set properly which means this wouldn't work easily As you see, when you use copy and paste, you need to know how to how to implement it. You we'll use get parent. So as you see, this still don't work good, but we can make work good okay I think this part is okay expect expect indent block after if so after that we need to have good indent block and I don't see this block oh yeah mistake is here this part is good
really strange. Now it's better. 15. So here. What you can learn here? You can learn that copy and paste have his good and bad side. And this is solved. So, what we learn? We learn that when you copy and paste it, you have right code. But when you work with this copy and paste code, you need to set all ident properly. So all uh, examples are okay, but if you use examples to change something in, in them you will uh, have this problem with ident uh, as I uh, show you here and show you how to resolve it. Uh, properly setting ident uh, will be seen with this ident sign, signs as you see here and if you have blank space like this uh, you will have um, error. Expect, see, and this is not enough. If you give one, it's okay for a function, but not for a if. You need another, and uh, this is solved. Thanks to auto completion, you see that it's okay. Another thing, uh, when you use uh, code is when you start typing code for uh, you will immediately see that it's okay or not so in this situation when we start the code you will see that this is okay so animation player then play and when I put quotes I have options to put it which means indentation is okay. Uh, the same is done for the moving left. Uh, pardon, to the moving right. King right. This is it. Let's see where are we now. Uh, we have gravity, we have movement right and we have um, animation for left but uh, movement must be added so velocity velocity dot x is walk speed we will put minus walk speed let's see gravity right side left side animation we have everything properly set now we can continue slowly when we talking about move and slide we have uh, velocity which include uh, speed and gravity and vector 2 for implementation of gravity uh, it is a very very good very good set now So let's continue talking about collision. 
which is simple talking after this what will we make now we will make one simple child node with static body 2d so static body 2d and we will add it collision shape collision shape 2d it's important to be as a child shape will be like a retainer and we can work with it so static body can also have sprite so we will add one sprite and this sprite can have uh, this grass from asset folder if you don't know which this asset is in asset library under the 2d you will find rms rm smart shape 2d download it completely or uh, uh, just uh, select uh, an installation just select uh, now I will show you just select the samples the samples you can select the samples uh, you don't need to to to, to use it this import only PNG and uh, in our example we only use grass this one and this one but you can use ground uh, no 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 ground is T resolution no no not this you can use as we use it also you can use sign and install it but we install whole package I suggest you, you to install it also whole package and you will have under the sample so folder this folder smart shapes under the sample you will find grass and you can uh, put it uh, as a texture of this sprite so static body collision shape sprite texture and you have it all if you want to move it together click on this make sure the other children are not selectable when this is active you will see sign here you can move it so this is static body but you need to I'm using mouse wheel you need to set collision shape put collision shape down to see it so sprite above collision shape below and you can see it now it's moving together if you want to work with collision shape just click on it and work so this is okay this is also okay and to set it turn it off and put it down okay I think this is okay if you have simple object you want to put in a game use static body 2d I will show you uh, in, in example what this look like so this is our character static body with collision shape so now when we start a game 
we have this see we have uh, implementation of um, collision and gravity again let's see so this is gravity working here see also gravity working this is it 